Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Tawal Mehta, and today we are going to discuss about graphical representation of the data in Rapid Maya. So, first of all, you will have to go in the process man. Activate the process man. I'll simply drag and drop the customer churn data. I'll connect this with the result window and I'll run it. So then you can come to know what are the variables which are there in the data set. The variables are gender, age, payment method. The customer is the customer will churn or is a, is a loyal customer in the last transaction. Now I want to generate the graphs from it. So what I can do, I can go and run from here. I can go in visualization. You can see on its own it has identified that the may that the gender is a categorical data and it has plotted male and female from here so it is giving me the count from here that how many males are there and how many females are there i can change the things from here and i can say please generate the data for chirp this question mark is for the values which are missing next thing which I can do is I can go in and I can select the bar columns from here or horizontal and it will generate the data set it will generate the graph which is horizontal now with the help of another variable I can also generate the unstacked bar chart so for this I'll go in bar columns In value column, I'll activate I'll go here and I'll make sure that the churn is the categorical variable and it is transferred here. Click apply. I want to do the grouping according to the gender, and therefore the gender should be included, count functions should be on, and please do the coloring according to the churn. And you can see now I am getting the unstacked data. Now I can also change the plot color of this when I activate the plot style. I mean I'm in the position to change the color style from here also. Now I'll again go back here in value color and make it sure the last transaction is on, gender is on, and here count does not is not uh, a good statistics. I want here average here because I'm going to generate that on the basis of gender. Please tell me where who has done the last transaction, which is more, and the customer who has churned. So I'm specifying three variables here: one, two, and three. And you have got the chart. So female. So you can see here female, churn, loyal. Similarly, here male, churn male churn and male loyal and their last transaction now i can go in scatter bubble chart and i can specify here age basically i'll require two continuous variable last transaction is a continuous variable and the age is continuous variable i want that the scatter charts should be differentiated according to the gender. So I'll be using the categorical variable. Now I'll just activate the simple linear regression line and you can see two regression, different two regression lines I'm getting from here. Now I can also go in x-axis and if it's necessary, I can also employ this uh, options which are there. Moreover, there is still one more option which is there in general, I can activate this and I can make it polar circle chart or polar spider web. I can also invert the chart from here. So this is a way of representing the data. I can also change the title from here. Let me try to figure out, yeah, title. The legend, 
if I want, I can keep the legend also on the graph. And some tool tips, which are there. Now, I will again go back on the type of the chart. I'll activate this. And we'll select the scatter matrix. Now there are some settings which will have to change. I'll again go in last transaction, activate this last transaction. You'll get this transfer age also here. Apply. And you can see here it has generated the data. It has generated the graph for age and last transaction. Now here also I can plot something. I will go in color and I will select gender from here and in chart size, I can also increase the chart size from here. Now I will go and include histograms. So basically it is giving me the histogram of last transaction, age and on the same graph I am also getting the scatter plot. Now, I will again go back in Scatter 3D. You can see it is giving me the 3D plot. I want to make some changes here. Age is a continuous variable. Last transaction is a continuous variable. I will include something in third exchange. And therefore, I will say, please include the payment method. So, you are getting the three layers. One, two, three. At any moment of time, if you want to export the graph, you can press these three lines and whatever format is comfortable, you can, you can export that chart in SVG, PDF, PNG or JPG form. Now, I will again go back here and select the histograms. This time, I'll go here and I'll make sure that I'll transfer last transaction from here to here because the histograms can be only of one variable. Age is there. I can also change the number of binds which, in which I want to you can say classify or discretize the data. So if I'll write down five, so it will drop five bits from here. Moreover, I can say, for example, I can, can I get a different uh, histograms according to the gender? Yes, I can get it. Similarly here also according to the churn or according to the payment method. I'll get two different histograms which are overlapping with each other. Now I can again go back here and activate the box plots. So at present, I'll keep this dash, keep this also as dash, select the values column. So I want here the age, basically box plots are the type of the chart which are used for detection of the normality in the data, where this point suggests first quantile, second quantile, third quantile, and these are the whiskers which are located at plus or minus three sigma. So if any outlier is there, it will be beyond this, beyond this point or this point. Now I will go here and I want to see that is normality present according to the churn or not. So I'll get two different box plots. Again, I can go here and I can also see according to the gender. Make sure the grouping is always done according to the categorical variable. Now I'll go back here and select the bell curve and you are getting the bell curve. Normally bell curve is generated only for continuous variable, don't include any grouping variable because it will overlap. You can see churn, the payment method. Now let us go back into the window of the plot. Basically, this is a density plot concept. 
Now activate the sunburst chart from here. So there are some range of selections which you will have to do. I'm specifying the last transaction. Remember in this case that the value column will always be a continuous variable and the levels which are there in the sunburst chart are categorical. So I'll say churn, first layer has been generated. Gender, second layer has been generated, and the payment method. So the third layer is being generated. So here it's necessary that the target variable is always a continuous, and the layers on the basis of which the layers will be constructed is a categorical variable. Now I again go back. This time I select pie and donuts charts. Okay, here I'll select. So I've selected churn from here, churn, churn, and count. So I'm getting the donut. If I want to convert this thing into donut charts, a simple small tick will convert this thing into the donut chart. Now I'll again go back here and activate the funnel chart. So here, value columns, again the continuous variable, last transaction, group by churn, and you can see. The area tells me that where the transaction has happened more. So it's a funnel chart. Here, instead of count, you should activate the average function. I can go here and I can activate the pyramid. Again, the area shows the amount of transaction, the average transaction. So average transaction here in churning is more, those who have churned more. Or rather, those who are going to leave the company, they will do the last transaction more. Now, we will generate the heat map. So for this, I'll go here, activate the heat map. And here in value columns, I'll make sure that age is selected, apply, group by. So I can also select two variables together here. Make sure in group by again repeat. It is always a categorical variable. I can apply here. I can still include one more categorical variable. And on that basis, it will generate the heat map. So customer, so churn, gender, and payment method. So here, the number tells us the Red color tells us that here the average transaction is more and here blue color is average transaction is less. The next type of chart which I can generate here is again go back and activate the parliament chart. Here make sure that we will take a count. We want to see that how many so churn, or I can also have a gender, it's a parliament chart. So this is a count for loyal, okay. So value color, gender, and churn, count. Let me specify your churn also. So your churn and churn. In grouping according to the gender that will be a quite messy yeah gender this is also possible male female churn that is also possible and here the aggregation function can be selected from here the next chart which i want to generate is the pareto chart basically it is used for 80 20 rule for quality control techniques so here I'll activate the last transaction, group by age, and you can see it is generating the Pareto chart. And here instead of count, I'll take average. Now, at any moment of time, you feel that you want to print this. For this, you'll have to go in file, print export image so you can print the charts 
from here also. So this is all about generating the graphical data or rather graphical output in RapidMiner. For more videos on RapidMiner, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. Please don't forget to press the like button.